Welcome to Game of Goons. And we've got another board game for you called Forbidden Desert. So our explorers have crash landed in the desert. They were sent there to look at artifacts. But unfortunately now they're stuck. The sun's beating down. They're getting thirsty. And the storm's picking up. So will, will they be able to find this mysterious fly machine that's buried in the desert and escape in time? Or will they succumb to thirst or be buried in the sands of time? Let's find out in this How to Play. So welcome to Forbidden Desert. So the aim of the game is to find these four parts in the desert and complete the ship. Once that is completed, you have to find the landing point. All players must be on the landing pad in order for the game to be considered complete and the players finally escape the terrors of the desert. So guys, to explain a bit about the gameplay, all players start on this tile, which is a starting token. I, you have to find these clues here. I've excavated these tiles to for convenience, but the player would have to go to the sand and excavate the tile to discover these clues first. So this clue here indicates, as you can see, upright, flip it, indicates the row it's in. This one here indicates the column it's in. You find the points where these intersect, so in this case it's the eye of the storm. But that's okay, because tiles will move about, and I'll explain that shortly. This is the intersection point, and this is where the part will remain. The tiles will move about, and it will remain there. So players, they're allowed to take up to four actions. So they can move to an adjacent unboxed square. They can... They can't move to blocked sand tiles, which is two sand tiles or more, but they're allowed to excavate the sand, blast it away as one action. And they're allowed to do this in all the adjacent squares, or if they're physically on the square, they're allowed to do it as well. As part of their four actions, they're allowed to excavate and flip over the tile which in this case is getting gear, which is special abilities. For instance, this one is pick up, peek under any unexcavated tile. They can play at any time, it does not count as an action, and they can discard it after use. They're allowed to pick up any parts as an action. If they're on the same square as a pawn, they're allowed to trade for free. Um, so you can trade any equipment and water at no extra cost. So we come to the storm deck. You can see in this case, we are playing on normal. So we reveal the number here, which is three storm cards. So the first storm card is sun beats down. And unless you're in a solar shield, which these players are not, or you're in a tunnel, you can hide in, you lose one water from your count. Once it's reached the death symbol, the player dies. If one player dies, the whole game ends. They reveal the second card. Okay, so it's moving one tile down and the tiles move into the center of the storm. So in this case, this tile moves down one and then you draw a third storm card. And this means tiles go right. So the tiles move into the empty spaces. And as you can see, each one of them gets another sand point as well. So that one gets blocked because there's two sands on that one. This one's got three sands, it's blocked anyway, but now they've got a third extra sand on. The part is still there, but in order to pick up this part, they must clear, effectively clear three sands, excavate the tile, then pick it up. Please note there is also cards in here called storm increases which will increase the level until you draw more cards if this reaches the top point again your players are all dead if your sand tokens run out and there's none left in this pile which is entirely possible as the board shifts then your characters are considered buried in the sand and there is no way to escape so i hope you've been enjoying this video and we'll get a playthrough out fairly shortly 
Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you are, subscribe, click the bell button to get notified of upcoming videos, and keep updated on our Facebook and Twitter pages. And we'll see you later. Bye.